In the previous video, we discussed the creation of low cases for a steel hull and became familiar with actions and design situations. In this video, our focus shifts to the application of loads to our structural model and we'll introduce the new load wizards. Let's jump right in and start by replacing the first load on our structural model. It's crucial to ensure that the load is assigned to the correct load case. In our case, this is the self-weight load case. You can insert single loads using the symbols in the toolbar or opt for the load wizards. The load wizards make it easier to input member and area loads. They allow you to convert area loads into member loads and apply snow and wind loads to surfaces and members. For instance, let's set a member load on a random member. You can do this by clicking the new member load button and the select a load case from the list is imported into the new member load dialog box by default, but you can change it retroactively. In the categories section, you can customize the load properties. There are additional options below this, such as eccentricities as well. In the parameters area, you enter the desired load size and confirm it by clicking OK. Select the members in the structural model to which you want to apply the member load and confirm again by clicking OK. And adjust the display size of the load with the controller in the shortcut menu. As well as double click on the load to edit it and change anything you'd like. Since the self-weight load case acts on the entire model, we'll now delete the member load that we just created and use a load wizard to create several loads for the steel hull simultaneously. We can expand the load wizard in the data navigator and double click on member loads from area load. This way, surface loads can be automatically converted into member loads. As usual, this dialog box consists of a list of available load wizards on the left, properties and options in the middle, and bitmaps on the right. Start by selecting the correct load case from the list. Use the symbols to the right of the list to create new load cases directly in this window, or edit the selected one. In the categories area, set the correct parameters for the respective load. The bitmaps on the right adapt immediately to the new properties. For the load size, add the corresponding value. You can find further options for this load wizard below that you can activate and we'll leave them at the default setting. Now we'll move to the geometry tab. You have two options for applying the loads to the steel hull. Depending on the command selected, you either define a plane via corner nodes or select cells in the graphics. Click on Select Cells and Graphics and draw a selection window over the entire structural model. You can deselect irrelevant cells by holding down the Shift key on the keyboard. Once satisfied with the input, confirm it by clicking OK and you'll see all the selected surfaces listed. You can also exclude certain members from this loading by clicking on Members Parallel to Straight Member and selecting the desired member in the steel hall. And from the dialog box by clicking OK, and you'll now see the inserted loads on the structural model. To display the load distribution, right click on the loads. Additionally, you can hide the load values or even the entire load using the respective buttons in the toolbar. In the dead load, load case, we've inserted the complete loading. In the next video, we'll explore other load wizards. Until then, stay tuned.